This is verse 21, the 13th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus, in the midst of explaining to his disciples the meaning of the parable of the four soils, he's described the first one where the seed simply fell along the pathway. The second one, the seed uh, has a little bit more of a opportunity. Uh, it falls into a shallow soil that's kept warm by a rocky uh, foundation, but of course uh, when the sun rises, when the sun gets hot, it tends to wither, and so uh, this uh, is to represent those who appear to receive the gospel message uh, initially with joy, uh, outward display of emotion, but then he continues, uh, the sentence ended with a comma, the uh, phrase ended with a comma in the preceding verse, so he continues the same sentence, uh, ook, this is the negation, eke, from echo, I have, third person singular, present active indicative, but he does not have, or it does not have, de, post positive conjunction, but it does not have, hridzon. Uh, the word for uh, root, it's in the accusative here, so uh, he does not have a root. In heoto, a uh, reflexive pronoun in himself, so there's no uh, sufficiently deep. A root to sustain this uh, plant as the uh, uh, parable is being told here. Uh, Allah pros kairos. Pros kairos, of course, kairos means time. Pros as the idea of to a time, and out of that is drawn a notion of uh, just temporarily for a certain time, uh, for a brief time usually. So he does not have root in himself, uh, but uh, for a time, for a brief time, esten only lasts for a little while, less than the verb of being, uh, third person singular, uh, present active indicative, so he only lasts for a little time. Uh, post positive ga, da, uh, genomenes, this is from genomai, comes, this is a genitive you'll notice, and it goes along with thlipseos, uh, uh, and diagmu, both of these are genitive, and taken together, they represent a genitive absolute, a kind of uh, independent clause here. So, uh, but afflictions uh, and persecutions, diogmu, persecution from dioko, I persecute thlipsis, means affliction. So, affliction uh, or persecution coming, uh, all in the genitive here, dia, takes the accusative tone logon on account of the word. Uh, all of that, you can see, is a genitive absolute. So it's uh, affliction and persecution coming because of the word euthus, indeclinable adverb immediately, skandalizatai, from skandalizo. Uh, I scandalize, this is the passive, of course. Uh, he is scandalized, he is offended. And of course, out of that is the idea of falling away, a little pressure uh, causes this uh, uh, person who has uh, shown initial uh, enthusiasm to nevertheless lose it rapidly when uh, somewhat uh, contrary winds begin to blow, just like a little plant that may grow rapidly in warm soil, but uh, once the heat really comes, the plant uh, withers away. So this is the second kind of soil that's described by Jesus, the second of four, and uh, the next verse is going to introduce uh, the third kind.